With less than three months left in the year, it is crunch time, and I've got a long way to go to hit my goals for the year. But I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I haven't met my annual goals ever. Not even once since I started setting them, and that's the way I like it. I have a really weird relationship with failure, and I've kept it to myself to a significant degree because I don't know how to explain it. But a few months ago, I learned something that just Every, made everything make sense. I learned about a study that was conducted that showed how children respond differently to two different types of feedback, intelligence-based feedback versus effort-based feedback. As a little boy, I received constant praise for how smart I was, and I loved it. Whether that praise was deserved, I can't recall, but what I do recall is this. Because I thought I was smart, I thought I didn't need to try. Like I thought everything was supposed to be easy for me. And that led me to believe that praise was something I was entitled to by right of birth rather than something to be earned. The insidious part is that when faced with a choice of the easy way or the right way, I would take the easy way. Like why work harder when the praise is the same either way? Even worse, when I was faced with something that was genuinely challenging, I would give up immediately. Like, oh God, my brain would think. Something is happening that challenges my idea that I am smart. Like, I need to avoid this thing in order to avoid an existential crisis. And then I would go play StarCraft. And that's normal. That's exactly what happens when you praise children for their intelligence. They stop feeling motivation to try. Fortunately, I finally learned the correlation between effort and results and effort and satisfaction. Like it happened gradually over several years, but I ultimately internalized the idea that growth isn't about genetics or intelligence or skill nearly as much as it is about the constant application of force. And I fell in love with that knowledge. Even still, I haven't stopped failing. Like I said, I haven't met an annual goal for myself since I started setting them, but that no longer matters to me. I don't expect to achieve my goals because I know that when I have high expectations, I'm disappointed when they go unmet, and results are so often out of our control. Instead of using my goals as a benchmark, I use them as a north star. The point is not to reach it, it's just to use it to keep my course. Instead of having my expectations attached to my goals, I attach them to my efforts. When I have an objective of completing three two-hour deep work sessions in a day, it's entirely my fault if I don't meet that goal. It's not because the market conditions weren't right, or a crucial client left at the wrong time, or because a freak pandemic came out of nowhere and changed the face of the economy. It's only because I didn't do the work, because I spent my time in a way that was not aligned with my goal. And that gives me 100% control. I decide if I go to sleep feeling good about myself. Nobody else decides it for me. And at the end of the year, however much I may have missed my goals, I know that I put out above average efforts and the above average results that I want are coming. And all I have to do is resist the urge to stop before they get here. That way, the only way to fail is to not make an effort. And that is a choice that I get to make every single day. And guess what? The same applies to you too.